Indiana Jones is, in my opinion, one of the best characters ever put to film. A fine throwback to early pulp adventure serials with all the awesome badassery that entails, and he is, in my opinion, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg's finest creation. Yeah, I said it, Star Wars fanboys, deal with it. Each film in this trilogy has Indy tracking down an artifact from a major religion. The first movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, has our favorite wisecracking archaeologist attempting to beat his old rival, Belloc, and his Nazi cronies to the Lost Ark of the Covenant while reuniting with an old girlfriend and in the bargain saving the world. Temple of Doom takes us back in the timeline to deal with the reemergence of a certain strangler cult that will be familiar to any fellow fans of the 1939 Gunga Den movie, where he attempts to retrieve a lost Shankara stone and winds up with a singer and this dude's best role hands down. The final movie, The Last Crusade, is where we meet Indy's dad, who is played by, oh my god, it's James friggin' Bond! And they are hunting down the Holy Grail and are going up against a creepy older antique collector and the Nazis again. Watch them if you haven't. Heck, watch them if you have, because this trilogy is right up there with the Peter Drac Jackson Lord of the Rings trilogy for sheer awesome factor. The writing is tight, the performances are amazing, and the directing is glorious. All of the films are exactly what they're supposed to be. Good old-fashioned, pulpy, serialized fun. Something modern Hollywood could take pointers from, to be honest. It's a good thing they never made any more of these films. That would be a real shame, wouldn't it? After all, it is the perfect trilogy. If you need something to do this weekend, watch the Indiana Jones trilogy. You will not regret it, I promise. But that's all I've got for today. This has been Pete, the Radical Nerd, signing off.